A Burrowville Road back open this morning. It was shut down for hours yesterday after an excavator flipped over while working to repair a retaining wall. Rydot says to expect more closures today when crews work to pull the heavy machinery out. Joe Cortez is live in Burrowville this morning, right near all of that equipment. So Joe, what's the latest for us? Well, okay, good morning. The latest is crew members showed up around 7 o'clock. They've been setting up some barriers around here, trying to figure out a new plan to flip over this excavator. And crews told us yesterday that the pylons that actually ground this excavator, they, one of them, went right through the cab of that excavator. And luckily, that person did get out of there. He's all okay today. But the excavator is working along Route 7, just past Dion Drive. Now, the machinery weighs roughly 33 tons. And you can see in the video that a portion of the construction zone actually collapsed. Police blocked off the road for hours, which was already down to one lane because of this project. The tow truck was called in to try to get that excavator flipped back over. But a spokesperson for Rydot says that they're going to be back here today. And they're going to try to get that machinery right side up. Now, residents in the area, you should expect it for the power to be off at some time. They need to depowerize the lines in order to get the equipment and uh, get the ride or get the machinery right side up. Now, one resident we spoke with, he says that he lives right down the street and that he expects delays for construction, but nothing like this. That's crazy. I just feel bad for the whoever it was. That's I wasn't expecting that. You, the first thing you want to expect is an excavator flipping over. <laughs> Now we get a chance to speak with local police department this morning. Their estimation around 9 o'clock this morning, you could see this road shut down. We have reached out to RIDOT as well as Rhode Island Energy to try to figure out when exactly this will be happening. But stay with 12 News. We'll keep you updated online and on air with the latest information. Reporting live this morning in Burrowville, Joe Cortez, 12 News.